Hey what's up everyone, it's your friend 23 here and welcome back to another video of Tears of the Kingdom. Part 11. Yep. Are we already on? We have already done 11 episodes, or this is the 11th episode which is crazy how quick it can go actually. But I guess if the game is a masterpiece, time just fly by. So today we're gonna find that cave so we can... Um, Give those bull, bubble, bubble frog thingies uh, to the two oddballs in the cave, so we might get that clothing that we wanted. So let's board board our Johnny, because I'm really sick of him, and say goodbye to you. Someday you will go up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's something. Razor shroom. This mushroom is known for natural slice. Use it to increase strength. We need to find a cave. I guess it's that one. At the strange uh, balloon, hot air balloon. And I also saw the well. We're gonna go to that one later. This is a really crazy looking hot air balloon, to be honest. I hope he's okay. Who are you? Uh, you're not a pretty dude. <laughs> well. Uh, you there, traveler. Hilton is his name. Do you have business in, the, in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big brother! I guess he's stuck in here. Oh. Wow. Your brother is even more ugly. <laughs> so you're the hot one of, of you two. Uh, it's no use. Coltin. Kilton or Coltin. These, these two are gonna be my favorite characters in this game. Uh, please, it's impossible, absurd even, to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori no less, absurd. You should be working on the monster collecting with me instead of chasing a silly dream like I will never give up, Hilton. I will always... I always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori, I do not care what it takes. He's so mad. All I need to do is to get my fingers on bubblegum. Then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called Bubble Frog, and it glows just like a Satori. Gah. But I didn't think it would be up so high on my on the wall, or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get something to help you catch a Bubble Frog? Yes, yes, do you remember all the treasures you collected? You could offer that in trade. What am I going to do? Should we just talk to him directly here? Traveler, did you hear me and my brother talking? Of course, because I stood talking with your brother before you came out. Uh, if I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on bubble game. Ah, but my bubble frog is very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What is your dream? You want to hear about my dream? No, I don't, but I guess I have to. Well, it's really simple. I dream of becoming a Satori. I know. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, how I admired them since I was a wee cult culting. And then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Coltin, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog. And a strange creature that loves dark caves. A, a strange creature that loves dark caves. And yeah. Okay. Uh, this is why I chased after... Yes, yes. But who knew? I, they are hard to catch. Yeah, I want to be a Satori. I understand. But this is my wish and my dream. Here, take this. If that makes you... Shut up. <laughs> That's that's a bubble game. Yeah, I have more where that that came from. Coltin, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and that faint blue glow. It's a real bubble game, real as it can be. 
You did it. Now I can transform into a Satori, just like the ones I adore. Thank you very much. Please take this gift in return. Damn. Bokoblin mask. Kilton's handmade Bokoblin headgear. It's an it's almost charming in a cute, mysterious kind of way. Equip it to blend in with Bokolo. Oh, nice. I can use this so I don't have to fight those. Uh, see, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. Th that is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a Bokoblin. So much that they... So much that even the Bokoblin would take you for one. By all means, do try it on. They will see what it's like to have... The body and the heart of a Bokoblin. At last, at last. The time has come. Time to gobble down some bubble gum. Cheers and bottom up. I feel like you shouldn't eat those. Ah, my body, it's, it isn't changing. But but I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. You're probably just getting high or something. It can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori. And that means more. I need more dumb. dumb. They are addictive as well. And I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that never works. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that... Kilton, big brother. I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, it seems you made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. What a supporting brother. <laughs> I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you. Thank you. Traveler, I'm grateful for your help, but I decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please do give it to me. If you do, I trade you a gift from my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we'll meet again sometime, somewhere. Can't I just talk to him again now? Right, or is he leaving after this cutscene? Yeah, off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Now I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Akala. <laughs> but dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. And thought I hate to impose. I do hope that during your travels you'll find time to assist him further. I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts. So visit me in the Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. That was a lot of reading. <laughs> Peek upon game. There he is. Ah, unfortunate that I didn't headshot. There we go. Accidentally dropped the bow. Why didn't he take all seven? Well, I had six, now I have seven. But why didn't he take all of them from me? Oh shit, we also need to try this out. <laughs> That's cute. Let's use it for now. Was this everything in the cave? Sure seems like it. Okay, so now we have done the two things we needed to do here, deposit our horse and also find these strange looking fellas. Hmm. We have horses over there, do I have any sneaking poisons? Uh, potions? I have one sneaky potion. I just want a better, a better horse. I hope they don't get scared scared of the sound in the water here I make. They don't, good. 
We need to also decide which of them is the one we're gonna take. Yes, the spotty one would be nice to have. We already have a black one. Ah. Took the wrong one. This is grey, not black. Can we maybe use this horse? Get to the other. Okay, yes. Run near. That's a three three dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> maybe this one is more kind. Let's go and uh, register it. Feels a bit less angry than the last one we caught. Yes, we want to register it. Better strength, worse speed, tame stamina, and gentle. Actually, I don't want it. That's a shitty horse. Count yourself lucky that you don't got caught there. Or tame. Uh, we're gonna go back to Lookout Landing. Because that's the only praying station I know, know of right now. We have a quest. Ah, what a pleasant evening. Hey you, is it true that you got the Pura pad? <laughs> Pura and I worked together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know. We should call it the Robby pad, technically speaking. <laughs> Come on, goggles, are you even listening to me? Oh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying, I want to go investigate the deaths. Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'll go and jump into the chasm myself. No way, no how, you can't do that. Depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own. And we only have barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow your young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end of me. The end. <coughs> but I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. <coughs> oh, Swordsman, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from the journey to the depths. One of them caught my eye. This piece of slate, speci speci specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing up with two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mystery that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if it, if there are many more applications like this one. I want to see for myself. Aww. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Oh. Yosha, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure on that oh. slate. And Link will join me. Will I? We start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, 
We'll use the Purapad's camera to take a picture of Yosha. A perfect plan. Camera. It, oh. Is it now we get the camera? Nice. Uh, you don't know about the camera. It's one of the Purapad's most basic features. With the camera you can capture nearby, nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in the pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Purapad. I guess so. <laughs> well then, I'll teach you how to take picture once we're down there anyway. There will be a lot of... There will be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter the through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and roaring to go, come find me there. Ta -da. This feels like I should have done earlier in this game. Wait, hang on. <sighs> Looks like he's gone. Sorry you got groped, roped, not groped, uh, got roped in to all of this swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaves before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Right, so, oh, so you use these down in the, in the depth, that's why you can find so many of these. Oh, and take this too. Thank you. The chasm are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there, it's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it will light up that area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you want to head straight? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm counting on you to bring that pictures. Uh, I don't... Oh, and please look out for goggles for me. Of course, of course, of course. Now we got their profile as well. Nice. And also jump down here. And pray. Uh, let's take... We can upgrade two. So one health and one stamina. Container, yay! And a stamina. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Go and bring peace to the world. Of course, my dude, of course. That's all I do. Okay, so now we have an objective for this video. Let's go to the depths. And why walk when we have a shrine that we can just quick travel to? Should, should we meet him down there? Should I just jump down? This is scary, but let's do it. That's deep. Oh. This is a cool area. Now we have another... Now we have three levels on the map, nice. The location marked on the old map you discovered up till now have been copied to your map. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Sonia survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Uh. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. 
I lost sight of him. Good thing I have oh. like 150 of those. I thought he was taking a short walk over to the glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. The last... And the last I saw of him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright... Bloom seeds? I do. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You risk your life wandering here without light source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves and they light up and they they light up if struck. So they are pretty easy to use. We use this seed all the time on the Sonia survey team. The simplest way is to The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Ah. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down there. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, yeah, I get it. Well, now at least we have use of all these goddamn seeds. How many do I have? 160. Boom. Deep Firefly, a multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. Uh, okay, makes a glowing thingy when eaten. As an elixir. This makes sense. And we just like... Not most used, but it's gonna become most used really, really soon here. And what is this? That's basically the sky towers, but for the depths. The light room dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay, so now it's permanent light here, I guess. That's good. Let's read this. Hey you! It's really dark down here, not even one bit of light. Yes, yes, yes. He just repeats what they have said three times now. I'm really, I'm a bit curious of like chopping down these trees to see if they drop something, something weird. Uh, but I don't have any axe with me. That's a bit sad. Let's go and loot these as well. Muddle bud. A wildflower with a powerful odor, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Also, it's a confused flower, that's nice. And here, puff shrooms, nice. It's a lot of nice gear here, actually. Maybe it's time to throw down one of those as well. A small one. Where did he go after? He said to the west, right? Stop getting destroyed. We're not 
かな生命。That missed? Let's climb up here. Oh, that's a big dude. Did he see me?、Uh, yes, because he threw his friend on me. Okay. Quickly, quickly. That stone cover. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't lose life here. Please. Ooh. That's a miss. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Was maybe a little overkill with all those arrows, but I wanted to make sure. Ah, here is so so night as well. Nice. A lot of them also. Large so night. So night of especially high purity. The amount of energy concentrated in the. In it allows for much higher power outlets. Yes, yes. Is also so night. Bomb flower as well. Great to know that they can also exist here. Don't wanna blow myself up, please. Boom. Boom. And I'm wondering, are they like here forever? These blooms. After you have shooting, shooting them. Um, other bomb. Oh, I hit an enemy, <laughs> or my arrow landed close to the enemy. Oh, he has. He has fire on his back, so let's just. Fight fire with fire. Nice little headshot. These trees were pretty huge. That's not a crit. Not sure I agree. Oh. Like, how high does this tree go? Nice that you can climb on these ones. 
we have a dude as well. Nice little headshot. Did I aggro that big birdie? If I did, let me just throw a big one out. No. <laughs> now I drop everything. Uh. Oh my god. First of all, change bow. Second of all, eyeball. One head, one shot, head shot. Ah, we don't have any blunt weapons. We have the one that he dropped. So thank you for that, good sir. A lot of sunlight. <laughs> Throw it away because I found a better one. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Yeah, it's worth because. There's a bow here as well, I think. Now it's just arrow, but arrow is always worth. And is this the drop from the dragon? I'll recruit the eyeball. Uh, okay, so homing quality as well. We don't want to throw an eye. An eye for an eye. There he is. Yay! And you can also... That's nice that it cleanses me. Good to know. And also, are these quick travel points? Yeah. And there you are, good sir. Why did you run so deep into the depths? Look how bright that thing got. That light down is... That line... That line... That light down is this dark is... That light down in this dark is downright refreshing. That's a hard sentence to say. <laughs> in fact, it's a... So luminous, it's almost like like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. That's good. Hey, it's you, you're finally here. Uh, I need to show you what I found. This statue, it's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us in the piece of the slate, don't you think? All right, get the camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you haven't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Purapad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Purapad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on, if I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this and tap that. Nice. <laughs> And now we can start collecting things. And uh, now you should be able to use both the camera. Thank you. That's it out. Once you capture the image, come back here. I I want to see how it looks. Of course, dude. Of course. Let me just grab my camera. And also, the first picture has to be a selfie.
That's a bad song. Thinking is always good. That's better, I guess. <laughs> That's the picture for the spiked Bokobo. I guess. Okay. Statue with raised arm. It's good to take the whole the whole thing in frame. That's good enough. Hey, how did that go? If you captured an image with the statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I want to see how it looks. So, did you get a good picture? You tell me. Stupendous. Looks like you captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up the immense... Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of that statue. You just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head back to the surface. See you at the lookout landing. Don't make Yosha wait too long for that picture. I really wanna keep exploring now here. It's more than one statue also. A bit scuffed. What's that thing over there? Let's just check that out and then we can leave. For this time being. Oh, this is some new loot. Poe, a glowing spirit found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for a very variety of rewards. I'm not sure what that bartering statue is. So that's uh, those light the up thingies, the roots that light up the place. Let's unlock that one and then we can leave. Here we need to throw a big one, I think is good to do. We don't have to fight if we don't want to. We can just run around here. That's just regular water ones. Maybe a bit unnecessary, but better to be safe than sorry. Nice. I unlocked even more. Let's take a quick quick look at the map. Um, and what is this? Spot marked. Ah, oh, that's the old map I found uh, some way, some few days ago, a few episodes ago. Okay, let's go back and finish this quest.
success. It was a success indeed. Hey you! Show Yosha the picture you took of the statue. Hey! This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, Swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, before I focus on that. There's something I want to give you as a thank for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier service of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? So nice. I feel as if this contains some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyways, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them usual, useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sit, sift through everything that our service have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Maybe, maybe. Goggles, Swordsman. <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depth for me. What was that? Why is he standing like this? I'm not even crouching. He has lost it. Uh, great job uh, getting the picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She's pretty happy to see the statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use a camera, inspired even. The Pura pad has even more potential functions, you know? Listen up, big update here. Your Pura pad can now be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. That's a huge thing that I missed. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Purapad Research Lab in Hateno Village. <laughs> That's right, it's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Purapad which Pura and I have developed. Once I'm in the lab, once I'm in that lab and you join me there, I can further improve your Purapad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nikluda, of in southeast corner of Hyrule, on its far side, it's hit. You'll find the lab in East Nikluda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Hateno village. Go a bit further than that and you'll see a mighty pe peculiar place. Don't let that looks fool you. It's a cutting edge lab. But for now, Yosha's investigation are my main priority. So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Okay. So let's her talk to her. Now that I know the fragments like this one, can help us see the depths in a new way. I'll be searching my collection more. I'll let you know if that leads to a new breakthrough. Until then, you should probably focus on the investigation that Doc tasked you with, Smartsman. What did Doc task me with? Yes, these ones. Prince has been re the village of her Herbra. So northwest. Let's go to the Herbra then. Is there Joshua have thought she have seen Zelda over there? I have enough of arrows. Actually, let's try to... Let's try to unlock that one, because that will give us the map for that, yeah. And also, where is the one for... That's not the one I wanted. A 
this will take a while. We'll do a st stable, might be. Probably even better to just fast travel there. I guess it is. That's that one, okay. We're gonna f wanna find a stable here somewhere. Probably gonna be one up the road. After the bridge, maybe. I don't have a weapon for you. So I'm just gonna ignore you for now. And here's a well as well. This well proved more comfortable than I expected. Not too hot, not too cold. Cozy, really, for a whale. I had no need for the heat resistant chill ingredients or cold resistant warm ones. I cooked for pleasure instead of survival. For a time, I considered tilling the soil in here, living off the land until the end of my day days, but time has changed. The people formed a myriad of new caves, considered my curiosity piped. Unexplored lands are a veritable buffet of cooking materials and I, Auretamu, intend to dig in. If you seek fortune, keep moving. Still not sure why my dude has standing like that. Fortified pumpkin. A tough pumpkin raised for food. When cooked, that toughness gives me more defense. That's nice. Gimme, 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 gimme. No. That's it, huh? Now I have a use for those, so I'm gonna start collecting them more now when I see them. Uh, this was a useless cave, I guess. That's a big dude. It's so weird there is no stable on this side. It's gonna be one soon, I guess. Yeah, you can wake up, I'm just gonna ignore you. Think you outrun me? Nice. Got two hits off. And this time, because I'm remembering that the uh, the bats can uh, fly out of caves. This time it's probably not gonna happen. Yep. Just as I thought. But no caves for me this time being. I have other things to do. There is a stable, nice. Looks like they're trying to build a flying balloon of some sort. Not much of a wagon. Yeah. 
Oh, customer. Hi there, and welcome to a new serene table. Stable, not table. Uh, I'm kind in the middle of something, but if you like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? Ah, uh, well, since you asked. You need help fixing this? Look at this beauty. But I need... Yeah, I see you need to fix it. You're missing wheels? But I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up and then I'll be set. Hey. No two stables have the same materials. Okay. It's not as I wouldn't pay you back, I gave you all my stuff. Yeah, I will help you. In fact. <laughs> Say jikes when I'm helping you. That's a good beginning. Huh? What? It's fixed? And if you want, you can take my uh, Johnny horse. Because I don't like him. Uh, it's fixed. Did you do this for me? Of course. Thank you so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Now I'm only one step away from my dream, having a horse with a wagon. Yeah, 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 I will get you a horse. Not right now, though. Yeah. Welcome to new serene stable. Thank you. I get points. Now I get a reward. That's great. Oh, it looks like you got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side. Nah. We can take my horse. Nah. Oh. Uh, it's fine as it is. Nah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Receive reward. Hey. Oh, oh, the Melania bed. Now we will make wake up energized and get a message. Ah. With three more points, we can get an extra horse slot. That's good to know. There is the wild horses as well. Okay, so let's just finish this quest. What we want to do then is take one of these. To make some upstream win. But we need to be closer. <laughs> I was a bit too far away. Yeah. This is maybe a good. Yeah. You shouldn't. There we go. Uh, that this is a bad horse, so this one we can give give away without feeling bad. Catch this angel for me. It's just what I pictured. Perfect for pulling my wagon. All yours. Huh? You mean that? You really part with such a wonderful horse? Ah. Dude, it's a really bad horse. Thank you. Wow, who knew stuff like this really happens? I'm so, so happy. Just go ahead and put a harness on it. A harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on horses you own. With a harness, you can connect your horse to a wagon or an item you need to take somewhere. If you collect enough pony points, you can get one as prize. I know, I already have it. <sighs> and we're all set. Oh. I can't believe it, a wagon of my own and a beautiful horse to pull it. To think it, I started with that old piece of junk and then end up with this, amazing. <laughs> 
Thank you so, so much. Here, it's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging you, no forcing you to take it, please. Oh, that's right. There's one last order of business. What's your name? Link. Hmm, Sumi Link. Maybe Suli or Lumi. What about Sunk? I would call this wagon Sunk. It's the Sunk wagon? Okay. <laughs> If something is sunkit in Swedish, it's uh, bad, and, like uh, w worn down, and maybe a bit like funky in the smell. That is something I would call sunk. Hello. I wanna buy all your arrows, even though you take over prices. That's it for today, thank you. And we have time for this shrine before this episode also sadly have to end. I guess this shrine is gonna be easy because if you would have gone to the main quest in the beginning, which you should do, and this shrine would be one of the first you approach. An uplifting device. <laughs> oh my god. What am I doing? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, attach it to the middle here. Boom. Take one of these. And attach. That's it, huh? And if I would have like a wind... Uh, leaf with me or something here, I could have probably steered it. Should we try it? Because I think I have leaves. Am I blind? There. Uh, hold. No. Hold. Drop. Yeah, damn. Can we do it quickly? No. Boom. I just wanna... Drop it quickly here. I think uh, I missed the chest spot. Oh, that's not beautiful. Cannot do that. Oh, 
Was it even a chest up here? Doesn't hurt to look. Guess not. What happens if I like shoot a... Okay, nothing. Okay, so no chest. That was just a complete waste of time. Oh. Okay. And... Ladders we can always climb up. Here is one of these. <laughs> so here I guess like different sizes need different Fire sources, maybe? Candle is a bit more slow, but can take small things. Touch ball. Jump on and attach this thing. Take this with us, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh. And I guess no chest. Is it the big ball is for the chest? Because that's the challenge, and the small one is for the win the shrine. Yeah. And uh, still stands like that, okay. This was everything we had time for this episode. If you have enjoyed watching part 11 of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please leave a like on this video. And also subscribe to your channel so you don't miss the upcoming episodes. This has been 23. See you in the next video. Bye bye.